In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to remove and install the gear in that inside of the handlebar joint base. First, you want to bring the tiller down, and then you want to turn it to the side. You'll need two size four Allen wrenches, maybe a rag to protect your scooter, a size three, and some needle nose pliers. The first step is taking the screw out with the two size four Allen. Next, you want to remove this and it will take a little bit, but it does come out. This is how it looks inside. Now to take out the gear, you want to first get the size three and unloosen. You don't have to remove them all the way. Just make sure that you can't see them from the bottom. That side out and take this side out. It's a little difficult because you got a limited space, but it is doable. Now, to get out the springs, if you can use your finger, if not, you can get the needle nose pliers and kind of just pry them out. Make sure you hold it so it doesn't spring at you. Now you can take out the gear, and there may or may not be this little silver little piece. Now to put it back in, you want to make sure this it looks just like this here and you get the gear you match it up make sure it falls in there and then uh, well before you do that you want to get this little silver plate and then put the gear in then you attach the springs and this is the little little bit of a difficult part so you get the needle nose pliers and you push it in to make sure it goes underneath the screw. And get the other spring. Do the same thing. You might want to hold it because like I said, they will spring out. And you just tighten them back up. They don't have to be too tight, just as long as you can see them through the spring at the bottom. All right, now you wanna put it back inside the handlebar joint base. And this is the tricky part, but you wanna get it at an angle. You gotta kinda Squeeze it in there. Like I said, it will go in there, but it's a little difficult, so it takes a little bit of work. Now you want to get the screw in there. And it does have these small bearings that might come out, but all you gotta do is put it back in. And then get the screw. You could hand tighten it for the first part and then get your two size four and tighten it up. You don't want it to be too tight, but you don't want it to be too loose. So you just gotta make sure it's tight enough. 